Hey, what's going on everybody? It is about 1.30 and I'm taking off out of the condo, heading over to the water taxi pier at the end of Soy 39, Italia Pier. It's gonna be a little bit of traffic on this Friday afternoon. Yes. Diplomat. Second-hand store, treasure factory. Soy 39 is a beautiful street, but it's always busy.
starting to sprinkle. Huh, I forgot that little part was one way. Future Steps International School. Oh, it's the broom, man. Grand house. Tops market on the left here. for a little U-turn. No. Thought it was a U-turn. Yeah, got the couple Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll see you later. Thank you. See you. Got you. Thank you. All right, nice guy. And here I am at the, uh, I say Ital uh, Italia Pier. I'm sure I'm, I'm sure it's Italtai Pier at the end of Soy 39. Let's wait for the water taxi. I hope I'm on the correct side. I think there's only one side.
Right here, I'm heading up to uh, Bank Bank Kopi Mall. Did it before. I think it takes uh, 15 or 20 minutes. I'm gonna meet my girlfriend and uh, get a bite to eat. Now I'm going in the other direction, but you can see how packed these uh, water tags. That's actually not too bad. Going in the other direction, for sure, I'm going to be standing. But they pull in and pull out pretty fast. So. And there's no announcements. This is a little bit more of a learning curve than, say, the BTS or the MRT. Everything's in English, and the announcements here, they pull up. They expect you to be kind of standing up by the uh, exit because they're going to pull in and pull out in uh, five seconds. If you're sitting back in your seat uh, asking people, hey, is this uh, where I'm supposed to get off, the water taxi's just going to take off. And it's a pretty good system. I'm going up towards the end of the line. I think that Bang Kapi Mall... I think there's only one stop after, maybe two, and then going off in the other direction towards Isolk. You can get down close to Kalsan Road. People have asked me if it uh, goes all the way to the Chalpriya River, and it does not. But you can get close and then walk or take a motor taxi over and then get on the water taxi system there on the uh, large river. But the simple answer is... Uh, the Klong is not connected, water taxi-wise, anyhow, to the river. And of course, this is another option to get around the city. I, I mean, myself and most other YouTubers will stay, will say, stay close to the BTS or MRT to make your life simpler, and I stand by that. But if you were to live in uh, this large complex, I forget the name, it's six large towers, you could use this water taxi system. However, it stops at uh, sundown. So maybe 6.45, 7 p.m., that's going to be your last uh, water taxi. The BTS and MRT, I want to say they start at 5 in the morning, but they go till midnight. Keep your small 20s and coins, the 10 and 5 bot coins for water taxis, motor taxis. These, these guys, they're not big into changing a 500 bot note. I, maybe they'll do it. They're not going to be happy about it. I have never scanned. I have a Thai bank account but I've never scanned a QR code. I've never seen anybody do it. I'm not saying it's not possible, but when you get on the water taxi, the change person will come around shaking a little coin holder and, and they're gonna see you. They're pretty good at uh, who just jumped on at the last stop. So just get on, find a seat or find a place to stand and have your small bills ready. I'm not sure what the fare will be, I want to say one time they charged me 21 baht from here to get up to Bank Kapi, and the other time it was 19 baht. Again, I don't know if there's a quote-unquote express water taxi or why it was uh, a, a little more affordable that one day or maybe the express cost more. I don't know. I just have uh, a 20 baht note and some coins ready to go. So I'll hand her the 20. If she points to give me five more baht, there you go. And your best bet is to find a map or the app that lists all the different uh, stops. This one's kind of faded out from the sun. And just count your stops. Be ready to go. Like I say, uh, there will be no announcements. And things move pretty quick. There are some foreigners and, and less tourists on these water taxis. It's a little, uh, I won't say intimidating. It's just for the locals and... Yeah, I mean, maybe you can jump on and, and ask a person, hey, what's the best stop to walk up to Terminal 21, that kind of thing. And that's uh, the Petchaberry Pier, by the way, I think, or is it the Asok Pier? See, even I just go by sight. I know where it is, but if you get off at the wrong pier, you're walking three more blocks. And one other thing to consider, I have been waiting a little over 10 minutes now. So if you're used to the BTS showing up every three minutes and I think the MRT is, is closer to five at off times. They, they move a little quicker, both trains, and maybe the three minutes is rush hour. I don't know. The BTS always seems to either be pulling up or leaving as I walk up, and then you can see the next one coming down the way. But the water taxi, at whatever time it is, two in the afternoon, it, it's definitely a, over a 10-minute wait, in my case today anyhow. And I know that's no big deal. But the efficiency of, of the BTS and even the MRT, you just walk up and usually you may wait one or two minutes and here comes the train. They're safe, they're clean, 
I wish the trains ran 24 hours. I mean, this city is so incredibly safe. You're going to have your nickel and dime petty crime. Here comes my water taxi down the way. But as far as roving gangs on the train at 10 o'clock at night, yeah, that just doesn't happen. And here's the boat heading off towards the Asok area. So you can see, pull in, two people get off, and they're gone. NAS NASCAR style. And then my boat is just on the other side of the bridge waiting to pull in when this boat gets out of the way. So you do know to have to know what direction you are heading. If I were to accidentally get on that boat, I'm heading to a soap. And people have asked me if it's a rough ride. Eh, a little bit. You can see right here, there'll be some rocking and rolling. I mean, it's not that bad, but if you're prone to seasickness, the bigger issue is getting splashed by not the greatest water in the world. They do have these little splash guards, but just be mindful. If you're sitting there with your mouth open, you might get a mouthful of this uh, clong water. Yeah, it's kind of busy, but not too bad. Not as bad as uh, 5 or 6 p.m. Slowing down, pulling into another station. Some are on the right, some are on the left. Once again, if you're getting off at this station, you better be up there and be prepared. You get off first, then the others pile on. Five second evolution. If you need some assistance, don't get me wrong. They're not going to leave you stranded, but if you're just kind of standing there, hey, what's going on? Yeah, they're going to take off. bit smoky when he uh, kicks it into reverse again it's a little bit more local flavor than riding the nice clean air-conditioned BTS bus but it will get you around town and he charged I handed him a 20 baht he didn't, he didn't give me back any change but that's fine now here's the lady collecting the money on the outside of the rail to get around traffic. And I think most people are getting off at the Bank of Peace stop. It's, it's second to the end, and I think it's a major hub. But still, I'm going to get up out of my seat, kind of keep an eye on things. Yeah, okay, I can see the mall straight ahead. So we'll be okay. Again, I think that Bank of Peace kind of like Siam Central on the BGS. Just Half the train gets off at that one stop. This appears to be a pretty uh, busy stop. This is my stop. I don't know how long that took. I didn't, I didn't time it. Maybe 25 minutes, maybe? But it looks like everybody is uh, paying to get off. Now this stop takes a little bit longer, obviously.
there you go. Yeah, pretty much emptied out. I think there's only two more stops, I think, until the end of the line. But it's a good way to get around town. A little loud, a little smoky, a little less uh, hand-holding than the BTS and, and all the digital readouts. But not a problem. And you just follow straight into the mall. Hey, so thank you so much for following along this afternoon. A little motorbike ride down Soy 39 and then the water taxi pier. There'll be more videos to come. We'll see you later.